What's going on everyone? This is Ryan with D2 Trillis Cells and I'm gonna show you this Bison Ranger, seven foot wide, three horse with the eight foot short wall. It's got the dual propane tanks, dual batteries, hydraulic jack, got your spare tire right there. Has a little exterior water spigot. This trailer is in the charcoal color with a stainless steel nose sheet. Has a nice electric awning on the outside. Also has an LED light bar on the awning. Bluetooth speakers on the inside and outside. Camper door with the fold-in step. Got a nice screen door as well. Let's take a walk on inside. Straight to the right here, we have a nice closet. This piece right here actually comes out, so you can use it as a full closet. Got your stereo, 32 inch TV. Right above the camper door, you have some hat racks. All your switches for your lights, electric awning, uh, sensors for your water tank. Up in the front, in the bed space, you have 12 volt outlets as well as one 10 volt outlets. All LED lights throughout this whole trailer. You've got a nice couch that pulls out into a bed very easily. Underneath the couch, you also have some really deep, nice drawers. Tons of storage space inside this trailer. Then on the left, uh, once you enter through the camper door, got the stove top, nice sink, microwave, Got the refrigerator with a little freezer. Then you got a closet right here. Really nice deep closet. Walking into the bathroom, you have a pocket door. Really cool design. If you guys have dogs, right here is actually a slide out uh, bowl drawer for your dogs or any kind of animal. Slide it back in. Got a porcelain toilet. closet space got the shower back here in the corner you also have some more storage space let's go take a look at the outside moving on down to the rear of the horse area got low light on both sides as well as on the rear drop-down head windows and drop-down butt windows. Double rear doors. Here's your tack door. Saddle rack. This is a collapsible rear tack as well. Going into the horse area. Aluminum, aluminum airflow dividers. Lower panel divider on the first stall. Stall pads all the way around. Line of insulated ceiling.
Over here, you have some more drop down windows, as well as a low light bar and your escape door. Escape door does have a drop down window in it as well. Nice first stall to be able to use for storage if you need to. This trailer is under the 10,000 GVWR. So I need a classy license to pull it. It's ready to go, come on in.